Hey, in the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about celebrating your year. And this week I wanna talk about celebrating your milestones outside of finances. Like what did, what happened? What happened in your business this year? Um, what are you celebrating? And I wanna um, maybe think about a few things that you could be celebrating that, you know, they just skirt by, right? One of the things is if you've been watching me all year, and listening to me, systems are important, but systems aren't sexy. Setting up a system in your business is not sexy. Like, that's not what people really talk about. You know, they talk about, you know, gaining new clients and money and all that stuff. But if you don't have a process on how you put them through your business, then you are not leveraging your time. So celebrating a small win, like putting in a system, like maybe how does leads get on your calendar or how do you invoice your clients or how do you send a contract to your clients, get it signed and begin the work. You know, how do you onboard a new team member onto your team? If you've done any type of system um, creation in your business this year and you followed it, celebrate it. Celebrate that because that is a leveraged activity that's going to free you up as the CEO to do what's in your genius zone. The other thing you might be celebrating is you actually, the CEO, working less hours. That's a celebration. Because as a solopreneur starting your own business, you did everything. You wore all the hats. You were the salesperson. You were the marketing person. You were the, you know, you delivered the service. You were your own accountant. You were your own bookkeeper. You were your own IT. And if you've put systems in place in your business, now you, CEO, have more space available, right? You have more time and you should celebrate that. If you're working less hours every week, that's a win and you should celebrate that. And it's important for you, um, when you do these things in your business, like you should celebrate them personally and you should celebrate them within your business as well. Because guess what? You're one person. Like, you can't split yourself. Oh, this is my business side of life and this is my personal side of life. No, you celebrate you. So do whatever you can to celebrate yourself. One of the ways I celebrated my wins this year is that I'm actually hiring a housekeeper for the first time ever. That's a win for me because I want to be available to do the things I want to do in my life and my business is actually providing the income to me where I can hire someone else and actually impact their lives financially. That's one of my big wins for the year as well, is that I hired people and they are dependent on my livelihood that Mitchell Consulting brings to them for their life. And guess what? When you are the CEO and you can provide income for another human, then you're making an impact overall. You're no longer just in it for yourself. You are actually providing a livelihood for someone else to count on, which therefore impacts the prices you charge for your business, because now you're no longer just you. You are supporting a team. And that's a big milestone win. So what do you do to celebrate? Because celebrating these wins is just as important in your life because it's going to propel you in the future because we forget about the little things that happen in our business, but they actually are gonna help us grow more in the future. So celebrate those. Take a week off, you know, go on a retreat go to the spa, or just simply spend more time with the people you love. That's celebrating your business. So
So leave me a comment below and tell me what are the big milestone growth things that happened for you in your business this year so that I can celebrate you in the comments. So leave your comment below and let me know. Talk to you next week.